well if the college football coaching carousel could get any crazier. It did last night with the announcement that Ryan Kelly's leaving Notre Dame and going to LSU. And that means that the Notre Dame job is open. And this this coaching carousel, I mean, just to think that we've had Florida, LSU, Oklahoma, USC, and now Notre Dame open uh, it is quite remarkable. I can't remember a college football coaching carousel being this having this many big jobs open. And and Notre Dame is is one of those top jobs. I, I, I don't know if it's a top five job. I, I mean, I think it's borderline. I think it's for sure a top five, top t- ten job out there. Um, but it's one of the premier jobs in college football, and it's open. And Brian Kelly did a tremendous job there. He got to the college football playoff a number of times, um, and he's now gone. He's at LSU, and that makes this job open. And it'll be interesting to see who they end up hiring because, as we've seen with this coaching carousel so far, We've, we've seen some, you know, I, I wouldn't have guessed Lincoln Riley to USC. It didn't surprise me, but I, I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have guessed Brian Kelly to LSU, but it happened. So who is Notre Dame going to go out and get? Now, I think the first two names that you have to talk about are Luke Fickle and Matt Campbell. I think those are the two hottest names on this coaching carousel of guys that everyone thought would move. And I don't think there has been a – a job that's been open yet that they really fit those two guys until now. And if we talk about Luke Fickle first, Luke Fickle, um, Cincinnati head coach, Ohio State graduate, he, the, the rumors are out there that the only jobs that he would leave Cincinnati for, because he's got a good thing going at Cincinnati. And so the only things that he would only jobs that he would leave them for reportedly was Penn State, Ohio State, and Notre Dame. Now Notre Dame's open. Not only is Notre Dame open, but their current defensive coordinator is Marcus Freeman, who was the defensive coordinator for Luke Fickle at Cincinnati. And who knows, Marcus Freeman could go to LSU. We don't know that. But that would be a nice reunite. for them to reunite and and have that success. And so I think Luke Fickle would do good. He's done a good job of building up Cincinnati. He's got, you know, he's from that area. He knows how to recruit in that area. And and I know Notre Dame, you don't recruit just in the Midwest. You recruit the entire nation. But it's a school that I think fits with what he wants to do. And and he'd be a tremendous fit there. Uh, Matt Campbell, another guy, once again, that just didn't seem like the West Coast or the South was going to be a spot that that would really fit him. And here you've got a guy who's a program builder. You know, Notre Dame is as big of a name as it is as a national recruiter, uh, national recruiting that you have to do. You're not going to get the elite of the elite. You're going to get some elite prospects. Don't get me wrong. But you're not going to go out and get the elite of the elite prospects. So you have to develop and and have a system and recruit to that system. And we've seen that Matt Campbell can do that at Iowa State. And that's why I think he'd be a tremendous fit with, with Notre Dame. I, I think his ability to build that culture, build the program, recruit to that program, I think he'd do tremendous there. Okay, so those are my two top candidates. I think if I'm Notre Dame, those are the two guys that I really want. Those are the two guys that I'm going to really target. Now, that being said, both of those guys are in pretty comfortable spots where they're at. Matt Campbell is very comfortable at Iowa State. Luke Fickle is very comfortable at Cincinnati. So if they strike out, they don't get those two guys. Where else could they turn? Okay. you got to look potentially at Kentucky with Mark Stoops. Okay. He's done a tremendous job at Kentucky, getting those kids from Ohio, building up that culture, building up that program. I think he would have do tremendous with Notre Dame. Okay. Do you go the coordinator route? You know, Clark Lee, who was just at, you know, and these guys are former Boston call or former uh, Notre Dame assistants. You know, Clark Lee at Vanderbilt. He's only been there, what, a year, two years? 
Um, is Vanderbilt, you know, would he come back? Mike Elko, who's at Texas A&M, former defensive coordinator for Chip Kelly or for Brian Kelly. You know, he's doing a tremendous job with the, de the defense at Texas A&M. He's going to be a head coach at some time. Would he go back to Notre Dame? Hey, what about Marcus Freeman? You know, I mentioned him reuniting with Luke Fickle. What about him as a potential replacement? Does Notre Dame want to hire a, a coordinator for their, this job? You know, here's a team that's on the cusp of making the college football playoff this year. They probably don't – do they really feel like, hey, we want to take a step back and get a coach and, and have them learn on the job? Or do they want to say, hey, we're locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's bring in somebody that, that has that experience and who doesn't have to learn on the job. Okay. Uh, a couple other names to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, Jeff Halfley at Boston College, former Ohio State assistant, was assistant with the 49ers. He's, he's building up Boston College. I mean, Boston College is a very similar type school to Notre Dame, but not quite to that level. Would Halfley be able to come in and, and, and be the coach? I don't know if he's, he's option A, B, or C, but he's a guy that's definitely a star on the rise, and I think he's, he's one of the better coaches you know, out there that, that could definitely move up. What about another school that's got a tough academic standards? And we look to Northwestern, who's not too far from, from South Bend, and Pat Fitzgerald. You know, Pat Fitzgerald is a Northwestern alum, Chicago kid. Everyone and their dogs wanted to hire him for, for different jobs, and he hasn't left. Would this be a job that would get him out of Northwestern? Northwestern's had some issues with their athletic director search. You know, he's been there for so long. He's had some success. He's had some downfall. You know, I don't think he's ever going to run the risk of getting fired. But is he at the point where he wants to try it somewhere else? I don't know. I think he's pretty comfortable there. I don't know if I ever see him leaving. You know, there's talk that he might leave for the Chicago Bears job if, if they ever offer it to him. Who knows? But Notre Dame, you know, would that fit with him? Would he want to take it to that next level? And lastly, what about the NFL? What about Matt Rule? Matt Rule was, you know, had, had a great run at Baylor. Before that, did really well at Temple. And he took that and he got the Carolina Panthers job, got a ton of money, brought in Joe Brady, as his offensive coordinator, and looked like you know this this team was kind of on the rise, but they've struggled this year. And as much money as he's making, as much control as he has, this team's just not working out the way he is. And I don't know if you know there's they're, they're going to solve it with whatever quarterback they pick up this off season. So with Matt Rule saying, I don't know if this is quite the right fit this is quite working out the way that I want it to work out, would he dip his toe back into college where he had more success and go to a school like Notre Dame, once again, that he can build up his program, you know, and, and recruit nationally. He's got ties to Texas. He's got ties to the Northeast. Matt Rule, I think, might be better suited for the college game. And if you're going to leave the NFL and go to college – Notre Dame is going to be one of those jobs that you do that for. And I can't end it. I can't, I can't end this, this without talking about the elephant in the room and Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer clearly is not working out so far in the NFL. I know it's like half of a season so far in his first year, but it doesn't look like it's going well. And Urban Meyer is a guy that I was anxious to see how you do in the NFL, but he's truly a college coach. And Notre Dame is a spot that he's worked before. It's a spot that he's held in high regard. He's passed it up before, but at this point in his career, possibly at the end of his career, would he want to take one last shot at the college, and especially a, a school like Notre Dame, where he holds it in such regard? Because I think whatever Urban Meyer goes in, in college football, if he does go back, he's going to have a ton of success. Would Notre Dame want him? after all the drama off the field stuff, 
But if he did get that job, I think he'd knock it out of the park. Um, so who do I think they're going to hire? I think they're going to hire Luke Fickle or Matt Campbell. Um, I think that's going to be considered a home run hire either way. I would personally go Campbell first and then Fickle, but I, I don't think they could go wrong either way. I think a fallback option could possibly be Mark Stoops, who would once again be another tremendous hire. But like I said, I think they're going to have their choice between Matt Campbell and Luke Fickle, and I, I think either of those two is going to do very well at Notre Dame.